Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am on a new lens today and I am so excited. This is a 50 millimeter lens. I got it from Santa for Christmas. <laughs> And this is the first time that I'm using it and trying it out and I really wanted to use it today specifically because I'm going to be doing my eyeliner tutorial. I will be telling you guys and teaching you guys exactly how I do my winged eyeliner and I'm so excited. This has been probably my biggest request yet. I will be filming this video today and I will also be filming another requested video which is my perfume collection collection, my entire perfume collection. But for those of you that know me, you know that on a daily basis I wear winged eyeliner and it's a very rare occasion that you would ever see me without eyeliner. I just truthfully believe that it just makes or breaks any makeup look. So um, today I have all my makeup done. I actually tried out the new ColourPop Press Shadows that I just got in the mail a week ago and that's all I'm wearing on my eyes today. Let me just zoom you guys in extra close. Um, so the eyeshadow you see here is exactly what I got in the mail. They're all ColourPop pressed shadows and I just think that they blend out so amazingly. I am so impressed with the pressed eyeshadows. So um, I would highly recommend anyone to go out and purchase them. The ones that I'm wearing on my lids right now are all vegan and I only purchased the ones that were vegan. As you do know, ColourPop is a cruelty-free brand. Um, however, some of their products contain beeswax or carmine or some of those other ingredients that aren't exactly vegan. So I will, I plan on doing a ColourPop press shadow um, tutorial and live swatch in the near future, so stay tuned for that. So right now we're just gonna get right into this tutorial of winged eyeliner. Today I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in the shade Trooper. It is their black one. I do have to do this in a mirror, guys, so you will be seeing me looking down doing this. I have my mirror right here. This is what I'm gonna be using because it is so incredibly difficult to film eyeliner on camera because I do use two hands when I do do my eyeliner so yeah let's let's try this out it's been a huge request and I'm so excited to finally be doing it by the way I do apologize for not getting a video up last week um, it was an insane busy week the uh, New England Patriots ended up winning the Super Bowl, which I knew they would, but I totally forgot that there is a parade that happens every year that they win. So it just happened to fall on a Tuesday, which is the day that I normally filmed, and I was like, you know what, like, this doesn't happen often, so I have to go to the parade. So I ended up going to the Patriots parade, and I'm so glad I did because it was so much fun. But here I am, I'm back, and thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eyeliner. As you can see here, it has a very sharp point to it. Um, this is going to help you get the perfect wing. And I usually like to start at the outer corner of the eye here. And just so you know, I probably will not be looking into the camera for this tutorial because I need, I, I'm very new to this lens and I need to make sure that I'm in focus in my viewfinder here and I'm also going to be looking at my mirror. So just keep that in mind. Oh, and before anyone asks, yes, these are my real lashes. It's probably the number one question I get on a daily basis. If I don't get asked if these are my real lashes, I probably never left the house. <laughs> I'm gonna start on the outer corner here just by going like this. I'm just gonna stretch my eye a little bit, tugging very lightly with this type of eyeliner. By the way, this type of eyeliner is a fine point eyeliner. 
So I'm gonna start the wing here, okay guys? Your bottom lash line, where it naturally curves out like this, you're just gonna follow that and bring it up to the bottom of your eyebrow. You never wanna go further than your eyebrow and you probably don't wanna go all the way out to your eyebrow. That would start to look a little bit crazy. But very lightly, bringing it out, I'm trying to get a good angle here guys, I'm sorry, it's so difficult. Towards the outer part of my brow bone, here, towards the outer part of your brow. See how I start very small? So that is a perfect wing. And I'm telling you guys, if you have never used a um, fine point eyeliner, you really do want to start. That's what's really gonna give you that precise wing that everyone always asks me about. That's how I get it. I get it through this point. You don't really wanna get one of those fat markers. You wanna get one that's very thin like this. I think the Kat Von D tattoo liner is the perfect one. Okay, so from here, I just slowly bring it in to the inner part of my eye, like so. And I ke I'm keeping this very, very, very close to the tight line of my eye so that you're getting right in between where your eyelashes start so that you're not getting like that line where you can clearly tell the difference between the eyeliner and the and the um, eyelashes. There we go. That's the right word. Okay, so I slowly bring it in like so. And then I'm going to open my eye and go right in the inner corner here. Like that. Okay, perfect. So now that it's all connected, you can see that that's a very, very light, light layer of eyeliner. And you never want to go fully into this huge wing because then it'll just look crazy and it'll be very hard to control from there. Um, control and precision is the most important part of applying eyeliner. So now I'm going to kind of thicken this up a little bit. I just made it a little bit longer here. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the other eye and I'm gonna go back and do the rest of this after. And we're gonna start at the outer corner here and then we're gonna wing it out. Sorry, I have a little bit from the bottom line. I went a little bit too far over. And I'm gonna bring it up towards the end of my eyelash. I mean, eyebrow like I did on the other eye. Ever so lightly. So now I'm gonna bring it closer in to the inner corner of my eye. And I'm gonna fix this wing a little bit. Um, the only thing about this eyeliner is that you do have to clean it off if you're wearing like a sparkly eyeshadow or something. Because otherwise it'll it won't really work that well. You have to keep cleaning it with like a tissue or something like that. Now I'm gonna bring it into my inner corner. And if you mess up, if you get a little bit too high, don't worry about it. We will fix it, we will even it out. We will get through this. Okay, so you're gonna keep your eye open at this part and you're just gonna 
very, very ever so lightly. Very carefully not to poke yourself in the eye. We're gonna connect this part right here down to the bottom. The part that I just went a little bit too high right here, we're gonna connect all the way to the rest of the eye so that everything is even. As you can see, I'm being very messy here. Very, very messy, if you can see that. That's fine, we will fix it. I'm just gonna make my wing a little bit thicker on the edge here. like so and I will fix that that's a very messy wing but we will fix it everything is fixable just don't freak out All right, so that's thick enough for me. Perfect. Now we're gonna make this wing a little bit thicker. Like so. Okay, and now it looks like it's pretty much even on both sides. So we have what we want. I'll look down so that you guys can see. It's pretty much what I do on a daily basis. Um, you can see that it is pretty much even here on both eyes. It's actually um, very easy to do. It just takes a little bit of time and a lot of effort. <laughs> um, but it's very self-explanatory. Don't get overwhelmed doing it. Just um, go for it, find a good eyeliner. It's all about the eyeliner that you use and it's all about how you position your hands in the angles. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys got some sort of value out of this. I hope you guys learned something. If you really want to attempt to do this on your own, then just play this video and go ahead with me. You can even purchase the Kat Von D tattoo liner. It is cruelty free and vegan and it's so exciting because I finally found an eyeliner that I love and yeah, so I'm very, very, very happy. And yes guys, I know this foundation does not match my face at all. I'm testing out a product and it's actually a sample and it's not my right color but I wanted to check out the texture and everything else, how long it lasts, stuff like that. So bear with me on that. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'm so excited to see you in my next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.
to work.